Welcome to the Creative Plane Podcast Network. Join us as we review our favorite RPGs, collectible card games, MMOs, video games, PC games, and bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to RPG A Day 2015. So, August the 14th. Favorite RPG accessory. So, for RPGs, I'd have to say my favorite accessory first, which I'm not going to count, is the imagination. Just make sure when you're gaming, you use your imagination to help imagine as much of the scene as you can and describe the taste, the touch, the smell. Anything you can do to help immerse your players, as well as help your GM get an idea of what you're angling for, really makes the game better. But, what I'm going to pick is going to be the game mat. It helps visualize complex scenes. You can throw the grid mat down. Even if you're not using miniatures, you can drop the mat down, scroll out a a brief idea of what the group's looking at, so that way they can see angles of opportunity in the room, choke points, tactical things that they can use to their advantage, which players really enjoy doing. And it's a lot safer sometimes when being vague and guessing on distances, that you can look at the mat and get a vague idea, like in Star Wars, where you just have short, engaged, medium, long, and extreme range. So that way, without being you know picky on the distances, you can just point out, hey look, you guys are at short distance from this guy to this guy. So that way groups don't have the arguments happen that I was right here, and you say, no, you weren't. So the game mat is one of the things I'd have to pick. It's probably the tactical gamer in me, but the game mat is definitely one of those tools that every GM should have available to him. And again, guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the 5th Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll a Scion hero to Ragnarok story thank you for listening